share science to your chakra reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with your air energy. Best message coming out for your chakras is keeping that heart open because you have a spiritual union coming in. You have a twin flame coming in, a soulmate coming in. Ooh, hello. Could be one or the other. I don't know. But right now we see it's a soulmate connection no matter what. And look at this. You have the lady, but this is the time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Ladybug, love. Oh my gosh, keep that heart chakra open. Your cup is overfilling. You've got the ace of cups, two of cups equaling one of one cup. You have love. Yes. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Ooh. And if it's not love because you're already married or something of this nature, it could be if you're having a rough time, your union is coming back together. If you are looking for new love, here comes your new love. Um, maybe it's just a really good soulmate connection of friends. Keep your love open. There's all these different options, okay? It depends on what you're looking for, but however it is, please keep your heart chakra open. We have two green cards, and there's green and love, of course. Right? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Bringing in that humor brings in that lighter side, makes your heart chakra open. Right? Hidden blessings coming. I'm telling you, a lot of you have a soulmate coming that you don't even know is coming. Or you've been manifesting someone and they're coming into your life. Miracles. Yeah, it's a miracle. Expect the wondrous to emerge. It's a miracle, whatever's going on over here. If you've been manifesting someone to come into your life, like I said, whether you know them or not, um, it doesn't matter what it is. You know what it is, right? Expect this miracle to happen. You are cherished by angels. You are protected by the angels. The angels have... Actually, angels, because it's a miracle, are involved in this situation. Your ancestors and them could have put this together somehow or another. I do believe that this is a spiritual union, and I really do believe that this is love of twin flames or soulmate that is coming through a miracle because it is divinely guided. It's auspicious. The, the good Lord has done this. They have brought this person to you for a reason. They know you wanted love. Here it comes. I think a lot of you can feel it, you know it, so keep your third eye chakra open because you have hidden blessings. Oh, this is going to throw you for a loop when this person comes into your life, whether you know them or don't know them. Oh my God, the happy surprise. Yes, giving and receiving. You wanted something, the good Lord said, take my blessing, take my blessing, receive it. Please receive what I'm giving you. Because this is a happy surprise. This is new love. New love. Not old love. New love. This isn't your ex. This is your new love. Which is crazy. Love readings are next. Um, so I can't wait to see what those look like. <laughs> and if you know that it is, maybe, first of you, it's like we're married, but we're not doing very good together. Um, so maybe the new love is the new way of looking at love. Maybe they have grown. They are going to offer you a different kind of love. Who knows? Right? Everybody's story is a little bit different. But for the majority of you, it is a new love. Okay? This is the opportunities of wishful thinking. Right? This is soul searching for the purpose. I wanted this. This is what I wanted. Maybe a lot of you thought this was just a daydream. But you were holding tight to the daydream. And you're saying, I don't care how much of a miracle it is. I want the good Lord to give this to me. And they say, here comes your miracle. Oh, my gosh. Stay confident. Courage. You could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign, or they may have a lot of water and a lot of fire in their chart. Wow. It could also be a Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting rid. It's almost like, you know what? I've gotten rid of all the baggage. They say, don't hold on to anything. Make sure you're making space for this person to come in, or you know you've already made space and you're just waiting. Like I said, this is a, you know, a general reading, guys. It's not a personal reading. So if you know that you need to make the space for this to come through, release whatever is not necessary, that energy, those old clothes from that ex, whatever it is, make room for this person to come in. Um, right? If you know you've already done that, they're giving you the heads up that I see that you've already done so. So here it comes. No matter what, here it comes. Ho, ho. 
Yes. No matter what it is, they're bringing it in. They're just saying, come on, guys, make that extra room. I, I just feel like it's a make that extra room so I can bring it in faster. Yes, with the chariot. Yeah, absolutely. Get in there. Dig deep. You have a hidden blessing on its way. Wow. This is something that's going to make you so happy. Oh, my gosh. And you know what? Yes. New projects. New love. It's going to be flaming hot over here. This person wants to come in hot and heavy. Uh, yeah. Hello. They have the strength and the courage. Guys could be definitely dealing with a fire sign. I got all this fire. Fire, 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 fire. So whoever I'm picking up on, there's a lot of fire in the chart. Okay. You do not have to be dealing with someone like that. That's just who I'm picking up. Okay. Picking up a lot of fire. Um, okay. But however it is, they are definitely showing the passion for the true love over here. Right. I got a lot of water too. So if you guys know you're dealing with a water sign, those are the energies that I have. Um, right. The most of. It could be anybody though. Um, but yeah, this person wants to really nurture. They look deep in within their cup. They see you as, like I said, it could be twin flame energy or a really, really deep, um, soulmate connection that almost feels like twin flame. That just means you've lived many lives together. And sometimes we live many lives together more with a soulmate than we do our own twin flame. So it could just be that that's why you feel like you're marrying each other. Oh, our souls just know each other so much, and we're kind of marrying each other over here, right? So, and that would be kind of a false twin flame, right? But this is a very good thing. Spirit's not going to, they're not hooking up with a karmic. This is, I think that for a lot of you already were in a karmic. And they say, we're done with that. Break those chains, let's go. Um, abundance mindset. If you think you are abundant, abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in your present moment, and that is what you will experience. Make it in the now. You want this person, it doesn't matter what they look like, just imagine somebody there. If you know who you're, who you're manifesting, make them with you now, but don't say it. it's going to be tomorrow. It's like I always tell people with the lottery. Don't say I'm going to, one day I'm going to win the lottery. Hey, you know what? One day you probably won't because it's always one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. You probably won't make it. I'm going to win the lottery now. See yourself with that money. See yourself with that car. Does it mean you 100% get it? No, but your chances are so much higher. No more complaining about what it is you have and what you don't have. Who hurt you? Who didn't? Oh, that's going with the six of swords. Get rid of that energy. They don't care, right? You can talk about it for like a second with them, you know, because I'm sure you guys will be like, yeah, my last relationship really sucked. Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. But we're not going to complain about it. We're going to see it as the past, right? Might even use some humor to it. Yeah, he was a real jerk face. <laughs> <laughs> if you could only see me now, right? Come on, ladies. Come on, guys. Yeah, if she could see what I got now. Ha ha. She thinks I wasn't going to do good without her. Let's have a laugh about it, right? Not complain about it. Man, i got to remember these things. I, I swear we need to write a book or something, right? <clears throat> okay. Complaints are affirmations. Ooh. Okay, we have to remember this. I think we definitely have to remember this one as just human beings on this planet. Okay, and this comes with everything, not just love, everything. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spirituality. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choice and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Like I said, when you are you know, comparing your guys' eggs and whatever you're doing, make sure you're keeping humor about it. Do not make it an affirmation of victimhood. I get it. I got it. Get it, got it, good, my friends. You guys got it. I got it. We all got it. And this is how we release the baggage. That's going to take away the hurts, the pains, the swords. Because now we're going to use humor to it and say, you know what, we learned this lesson. This was another lesson of growth. This was another lesson called life. We're going to live it, we're going to do it, and we're going to get out of it. And you know what? It's all good because now I have 
a mindset of abundance, and I know exactly how I'm going to do this. I have love. Affirmations of, I have love now. I have money now. I'm not poor. I have money now. We keep saying we're poor, we're poor, we're poor, we're always poor. Doesn't leave any room for the money to come in if we keep being poor because you're, yes, you need to attract, not chasing. Ooh, I like that. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. I welcome this money. I welcome this love. I welcome, welcome, welcome. And it's kind of crazy because, you guys, I just want you to know, for a lot of you, this is already written in the Akashic Records for this to happen because it's already divinely attracted. I just think that a lot of these things are just teaching us how to do things. Because a lot of you, you already have the miracle coming in. You already have what it is you asked for. So I think a lot of these things are just lessons. The abundance mindset, the no more complaining, the attracting not chasing, those are all learning, right? It's all learning or reminding us. Maybe we knew it at one time, we all forget, right? And then we go to do the next one, we forget what we're doing. So it's more of learning tools. Yeah, words of abundance. It's just the same thing, reminding ourselves that we are abundant today. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully, powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. There are plenty of jobs out there. I'll get a job. Don't you worry about it. Oh, this town thinks that there's no jobs right now. But you know what? I know there's a job around the corner. And bam, there you go. I know there's a job. At least, you know, maybe it's five, six miles away. Maybe it's 20 miles away. Maybe it's a half an hour away. But you know what? I got this. And I'm going to get it. It's mine. And then you'll be have what? Successful funding. So those of you looking for money, I'm just going to bring this up because I know some people are like, I don't know about that love thing. Okay, just remember, whatever you're doing, attracting. Make sure you're keeping your heart chakra open. That is the most important thing on this and your third eye. Why? Because you always want to use your intuition to know when it is to leap, when it is to go, when it's coming through. Your ideas is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you this idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning in it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are also available there to help you. Always remember that you are guided successfully by the universe. You co-create. You do not create. So we have to make sure that we are trusting within the universe. If we do not trust within the universe, then how are we going to co-create? Because who are you co-creating with? <laughs> the universe. You're not going to do it by yourself. So you have to have trust and loyalty that the universe is there guiding you at all times. That's why we give it to them. We give the affirmation to them. We give the trust to them. We send out the prayer to them, the manifestation. And then we watch the law and attraction come back. Woo. Yes. Very powerful meanings. Thank you so much, Spirit, for all the, the wonderful messages of today. Okay. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.